Hello everyone, welcome back to another Look Be a Landlord video. My name is APQ. Yesterday we defeated floor six, so today we're on to floor seven, which actually gives us two duds. Uh, yesterday we... Oh, no. Oh. Yesterday we were doing a sunflower build, and I said that... Um, and I said that I would carry on today. I said I'd record part two tomorrow, guys. Let's get on with it. I forgot to click continue as you've all just seen so which means that run is now dead because the way this game works is as soon as you start a new one the previous one is is gone so we have to continue with this now which obviously sucks okay we paid 25 with five spare there so we're not doing too well either we have got three cultists early on which is kind of that four cultists early on um okay there's hope here guys i'm gonna add coal because i'm a brave little man we're going to go rabbit. Oh, I don't need rabbit fluff. I need un I need commons, but rabbit fluff's good money, so we'll keep it for now. I need tediums because we need more cultists. Big ore is two value. We're going to go for blue pepper. Okay. Two value peach. Yes, please. We just need two value symbols. Okay, we're rolling good for early on here. If coconut's worth one, but if we get a monkey, it can split easily. Oh god, I feel like a bronze arrow is worth it with the cultists. Point to one, that's good, that's eight, right? Yeah, there we go. Toddler for any candy, I need to thin this board out already, it's getting too messy. Another cultist, are you kidding me? There is hex of destruction there, but five cultists is what we need, so we need to clear some stuff off this board immediately. We pay 100 with 120 spare. We're going to add hex of tedium, we're going to add cleaning rag. So whatever isn't a two-value symbol. So right now, cherry and flower, I think, are the only things that aren't two-value. Obviously, key, but we want to keep key. Key's useful. Cheese as well. I don't want to add the hex of destruction, I'm going to be honest. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's add a two-value ninja. We've got a removal token, which I'm going to use to remove uh, the flower, I think. Another cultist. Let's get rid of the flower here. Oh, we just added this. Do we add a safe then? I'm very confused what we just added. They're all worth five each. I need the. Oh, I did not add a safe. What did I do? Okay, it's all worth five each. So this is looking good. We pay 150 with 190 spare. Now we add a safe. Mining pick because they've changed mining picks because five gold and never ores are destroyed now instead of randomly destroying all, which is nice. I don't need more rabbit fluff. I will take a bar of soap though. This board is getting messy. I'm actually going to take another bronze arrow, which is, may sound kind of crazy, but we can get two bronze arrows to the like, point of this. It's 16 gold, right? Here's a wild card, which will be the same value as the cultist. So five. Okay, so it acts as another cultist if adjacent. I added a Matroshka for some... Another Matroshka for some stupid reason. I'm getting... Okay, I need to... I'm adding too much. We don't need to add right now. We don't need to add. We don't need to add. Okay. This is nice, though. Um, I don't need to add. I do not need to add. Okay, nice. This points off the board, but it's okay. We're still rolling good numbers. Cultists to carry, and we pay 225 with 294 spare. I'm going to take another wild card, and then I'm going to take a fish tank. I'm going to use this to remove the coin. Okay, we just need this to point out a cultist every time, although tedium's not bad. Here's chemical seven. Could have added a mouse there to remove the cheese. There's our diamond ready. It's also a nice bit of money. A mega chest, I feel like, is the... Yes. It's worth, like, free value on its own, I think. Then 100 if we break it open. We do have a toddler, but I don't think I want to add... I've done it. I've, I've done it anyway. I've added the piñata. Okay. 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 We rolled 60 there. Here's a key for the mega chest, I hope. They both pointed to the key. Are you kidding me? Um, I'm not adding a third one. Okay. This points to the mega chest, but we did not open it. If we had a key there, that would have been insane. It would have been 200 gold instead of 100. Another wild card? What's going on? You got three wild cards right now? Okay, we pay 300 with 390 spare. I'm going to re-roll here. Need that mega chest to open, so... I'm just going to get a buffing capsule and then capsule machine. So that buffs, buffs it even more, so... This should be worth 12. Okay, we rolled three, I suppose, so... Makes sense. Okay. Okay, that's, that'll do. We get, get rid of some of the candy that I added, even though I definitely shouldn't have done what I did, but it's cool. Uh, item capsule. Yes, please. 
Another cultist? Let's go. Okay. We need to roll every cultist on the board, so we need to remove stuff. We need... Oh, my God. More cultists. What's going on? I've never been this lucky in my life. Ever. Ooh, that could be the title of the video. Okay. Come on. We can do it. We can beat this floor after the absolute howler that I made by clicking start new as we loaded into this game today. This could make up for it if we actually win the floor. We pay 375 with 946 spare. This would destroy the cultists. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Um, removes all rabbit fluff. We'll take that. Okay. For a guillotine now, we can, you know. This, we can add rabbit fluff because this obviously removes it. No, this removes it. Which means we lose the one we added earlier on as well, which is nice. We don't need to add here. Okay, why can't these just always point to the same thing? You know, that'd be incredible. We've still got the two uh, duds as well, which is kind of funny. Okay. Um, well, okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. We've got wild cards, which is actually really nice. 83 there. Do we have... We do have a fish tank, so I'm going to start adding goldfish. I did forget we had a fish tank. I apologize. We're nine spins away from adding a treasure map. Don't need to add any of you. Thank you. I really don't need to add anything right now. We just need to remove stuff. We've got a removal token as well, so I'll get to work on that. Let's get rid of the cherry. Okay. We pay 450 with 1,081 spare. We don't need to add any of those. We will add a recycling, though. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, another cultist. Yes, please. <laughs> I can't actually believe what's going on. We're rolling so many cultists. Buffing capsule. Did not roll the buffing capsule. 24 in this one. 110 rolled. Holy heck. Okay, come on. This is incredible. Nice, nice. 246 rolled. We could have a Geo just to clean up the ore and the pearl. So I'm just going to do that just for that reason. We can get rid of it later on, right? So we don't want to add any of those. Thank you very much. Um. Do, 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 do. I'm just sorry. I'm kind of just lost for words right now. Don't need to add any of these, dude. Just give me cultists, please. Oh, that's nice. Well done, Wooden Arrow, for doing something nice. Wooden Arrow seems to be doing a bit better than the Silver and the Gold Arrows I usually have uh, arguments with. I rarely pick up Wooden Arrows, in case you don't watch my videos usually. We paid 575 with 1,445 spare. Is it even worth me rolling here? I feel like it's not, because what am I going to add, right? What works with cultists, you know? I feel like I'm wasting my rerolls here, so I'm going to actually stop. I don't. I want to add something there, but I don't know what to add. You know, you know what? Let's add a mine. Let's now add cardboard box. Okay. Uh, we could. I don't want to go oyster though. I don't, I don't want to go full geo. Just added the mine because I felt bad about rerolling loads. So we'll add it back. We'll add it in just to you know take something. Could have the mouse to get rid of the cheese, but I feel like we're just faster removing it, especially with cardboard box. Now we can refine this board pretty quick. I did a, well, why did I add that? Okay, let's get rid of the cheese now, actually, before I forget. Okay, yeah, let's just feed the geo as fast as we can. That's nice. Just want to secure all the cultists on the board as much as we can. So, really, a point of one each. It'll do, it'll do. 14 from each. So we roll 100. It's actually kind of good. I've added a bubble to a build that we don't need a bubble in for some reason, but. It's nice. Okay, Geo's actually up to eight, so it's kind of worth keeping him around for a little bit, I feel like. We've already got a ninja. We don't have Curse Katana, so let's not add any more ninjas, please. We do have a removal token, so we can get rid of a one value symbol. So it's going to be the toddler for me. Well, the toddler was just worth... How is the toddler just worth seven there? Am I missing something? Must have been a buffing capsule or something. I don't know. Oh, no, probably eight candy. I'm an idiot. Okay, treasure map adds a treasure chest and a key. Removal capsule is going to go ahead and remove the toddler. Okay, so it's the one value cat left and obviously ore down here that I'm hoping the Geo is going to get. I feel like we're doing okay. There we go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice is pointing to the Geo as well. Still need to get rid of the coconuts I added at the start. We pay 650 with 1,611 spare. See, this would eat up the cultists. So I'm thinking we do that to finish the build, right? Like, you know, we can we convert it at the end from cultist to uh, Eldritch. 
Okay, okay. Let's uh, keep going. Okay, that's not nice. But, as you know, we're still rolling. We're still rolling 100. It's fine. Don't need to add anything. We just need our removal capsules to come into our cardboard box. There's one. Let's go. We're going to use uh, this to get rid of the cat. Thank you very much. The coconut will be going next. Just open this as well soon. would be nice. Uh, another cultist. Yes, sir. <laughs> I need to stop saying that, honestly. We don't need to add any of those again. Okay. We've still got a diamond, which is, I mean, it can just chill for a bit, can't it, really? There's no pressure to get rid of the diamond. Just get rid of all the super low value symbols first, then we'll work our way up until there's nothing but cultists. I just added ore for the geo. I feel like I shouldn't be adding loads of stuff. Especially, we've still got two duds. I've added more ore. I don't care, you know? Yeah, nice. Treasure chest gone. We've still got two duds, which is insane to think about. Um, we're doing really well. We're going to use this to remove the... One of the two coconuts that I added, actually. They're both worth one. It's the coconut halves that are worth two, so... We've got no way of splitting this coconut right now, so I feel like we just get rid of it. We pay 675 with 1,964 spare. Gonna re-roll a oh, so many frozen fossils are coming up. I know I've skipped a mine, but I'm gonna take another mine. I'm then gonna take jack o' lantern, even though I've got rid of all my toddler and candy stuff, but it's cool. So we've got a uh, removal token here. There's another cultist. Gonna use removal token on. Either coconut, of course. If they'd add a mine, it's going to add more ore, which is stupid, but, you know. I guess that's who I am. It's what I do. I make bad decisions all the time. And we're still rolling really well. We're rolling 134 right there. We can add rabbit fluff because it gets removed straight away with the lint roller. So, it gives us six gold, like so. Kind of pointless, really, but also kind of not. It's worth six gold, so why not do it, you know? It doesn't cost me anything to, to do it, so it's a free six gold for us. If there's the th that, that's if there's no other good options, of course. Okay, I took Tedium then because Tedium gives you a guaranteed shot at a common, so there could be a cult list. If not, it gives us five gold, of course. So I'm going to use my removal token this time on the Peach. Yeah, nice. I think we'll get rid of uh, Ninja and then Matroshka's next, to be honest. I think that's a good way to go. Okay, I need this Geo to clean up the other ores, though, please. It would be nice. Add a reroll capsule because why not? Even though we've got recycling, let's add another uh, reroll capsule. 166 rolled. That's actually kind of insane. But we did roll high early on. We're doing really well right now. 150 rolled. Okay, we pay 777. So we've defeated floor 7 with 2,491 spare. What am I even looking for if I do this? This is the problem I've got, right? Yo, a magic key. I'm doing that. I'm also doing lunchbox. What's in the lunchbox? Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. I've got a fish tank. Although we need egg carton. I don't know. I, I always forget I've got fish tank and egg carton and stuff. Right now we've got a fish tank, so I should think about using that. We do have a guillotine, so I should have been adding billionaires this whole time. I do apologize, everyone. Okay, we've got a removal token. Added a bubble for some stupid reason. Let's use the removal token on the ninja. Okay, nice. There's some more geo food eaten up. Okay, okay. You know what? I've got to add big ore. Until we clear the rest of the board, I'm going to keep adding geo food. I'm not too scared. Buffing capsule in a good place. Okay, we did not roll the buffing capsule, so maybe not, but I'll still do nicely. 186 rolled. There's another cultist on my days. Okay, all we need is for. What do we need? Maybe something to use. Oh, that's a nice buffing capsule. Maybe something to use with. Um... Magic key. You're 398 rolled. Let's go. Okay. That's nice. Let's go. 183. We're going to take Hustling Capsule to give us another pool ball. Gives us four now. Obviously, we capsule machines, so we get two each time. We're then going to go another hex. Why have I added a hex of tedium? You know what? It could help us find cultists, though, so we'll take it for now. A Dever removal capsule. We'll pay 1,000 to 3,205 spare. Silver arrow can replace one of the uh, wooden ones. So we're going to go in here. We're going to get rid of the. We're going to get rid of the Matroshkas first before we get rid of the wooden arrows. We'll keep two wooden arrows and a silver arrow. We'll get rid of the wooden arrows next, though. There's another cultist. We need rusty gear desperately. Just realized. Well, I'm thinking about it a little bit, but now I'm like, we need it, you know? Silver arrow put into one cultist. It'll do, I guess. 18. 150 rolled. Thank you. Item capsule, we're going to turn the page. 
We obviously need, un we need the rusty gear, which is uncommon, and you can't get uncommon items from the, uh, the item capsules. So, no point getting our hope. Wow, look at this. Well done. Well done, Silver Arrow. Wooden Arrow is still uh, far superior by the looks of it. And again. This points to two cultists. That's nice. 114 rolled. Okay. Almost added milk there for some strange reason. Well done, Silver Arrow. Pointed to the Geo as well. That's huge, actually. Nice. Obviously, obviously increases the value of this as well because it's next to its most valuable symbol. So that's nice. It's pointed to the wild card. That's not too bad. 27. 179 rolled. Okay, this is looking good. We've got a removal capsule. So what do we what do we remove? Um, <laughs> one of the wooden arrows, I think. No, what? Let's get rid of the diamond. Yeah, let's get rid of the diamond. I've got another one. Let's get rid of one of the, the, the wooden arrows. Okay, this is nice. This needs to to open with that magic key, to be honest. We pay 1,500 with 3,387 spare. I have just added another mine. I have just added coffee, which if we can't make rent, allows us to have one more spin if we drink the coffee. So, could come in hand, could come in helpful, could clutch up for us. I, could, I don't need to add void stones, and yet I'm sat here adding void stones. I'm kind of crazy. Okay, hustling capsule. Nice, obviously it gives me two, so I think we're up to six now. Another cultist, let's go. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen this many cultists. Maybe I have, just not in this short space of time. I feel like usually I sit here for hours getting cultists. Okay, like the start was, we had like five cultists in like seven or eight spins, it felt like. It was very crazy, 430 rolled. We've got a removal token. That means it's time to remove something. Do I want it to be the bronze arrow? Not really. Um, I kind of don't want to be tediums either. Let's get rid of magic key. Let's just, let's just, oh, really, off the board, off the board. Wow. Let's just, get, let's just agree to the fact that we're probably not going to add anything that needs to be opened with a key anymore. So let's not add magic key. Let's remove it. So we've done that. I think I've got a fish tank. Should be adding goldfish. I don't really care too much, but okay. Nice. 314 rolled. This is going well. So I want rusty gear and a few more cultists, so I'll be very happy. Okay, we pay 2,000 or 3,665 spare. I should definitely be re-rolling on the common ones, right? Let's skip. Let's go fifth ace because it's uncommon. The more uncommons we take, the more likely we are to find the one that we want, right? Because there'll be less of it. Or there'll be less uncommons to roll. Both off the board. Well done, arrows. Well done. Maybe it's time to get rid of them, to be honest. I didn't get a re-roll capsule for no reason. That's so stupid of me. It does give us two, I suppose, but we already get one a turn from, one a spin from the recycling items, so. This amount of cultists is truly insane. Uh, don't want to add any of those, thank you. We've got two removal tokens. Don't want to get rid of the wild cards yet either, to be honest. Let's add all for now, because it's obviously geo food. Trying to think, right? I mean, obviously we need to get rid of the duds. That's like a big thing, but we can't really do that with what we've got right now. I don't want to add hexa destruction right now. We're on 14 cultists, and only 25 symbols in total, so we're looking to be rolling a full board every time. Obviously, we're rolling a full board with the duds. If you had 27, then we wouldn't be rolling a full board with the duds every time, or a dud. That's the sort of, that's kind of issue that we're in. 272 roll. There's a 15th cultist, I believe. Both pointed towards the same cultist. Let's go. 60. 261 rolled. Okay, this is nice. And this is getting nice now. Let's go. 24 for this cultist. Okay, we're going to pay 2,500. 3,700. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've added a frozen fossil. I'm going to do it. This is it. This is it. Now give me some more choices for frozen fossil, please. Give me like a few of them. Obviously, it's going to take 20 turns to turn and I remove stuff. So we are going to let it turn, and then we're just going to let it go like rampant on all the cultists. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, we can get a few more of those so it stacks would be nice. At least that's the vibe I'm going for. Um, although I imagine that a lot of them won't be worth, you know, as much as each cultist. Each cultist now is worth 12. I doubt we're going to get that with frozen or with uh, eldritch creatures. Especially not as many anyway, so... We'll see, that'll be good fun. If not, it's a good way to end the build, right? Getting an Eldritch creature to kill your entire cult. Uh, seems kind of cool. Okay, let's just keep going. I don't even need to care about geo food right now. 
I'm excited for this to turn in 12 turns. We've got lots of removal tokens that we just don't need anymore, which is fun. 220, we're actually rolling so well. Okay, 3,000 paid, 3,400 spare. Another silver arrow, we can replace the wooden one. We're gonna use big symbol bomb to get another cultist. An eldritch creature, oh my God. A removal capsule, we're gonna use this to get rid of bronze arrow. So now eldritch is gonna start eating up. Okay, we didn't even roll eldritch, so maybe not just yet. <laughs> And then Eldritch is going to obviously spawn the Frozen Fossil. Here we go. There we go. That one turns into one as well. Okay, they've both got three stacks so far. Come on. Obviously, they share stacks. So they're always going to have... The, I should have added the Goldfish for the Fish Tank. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Good money. Good money. We are killing the entire run, but it's kind of a fun way to do it. Let's go. Oh, my God. They're killing all of them. <laughs> they're killing all of them. Okay. 342 from that wild card. That's nice. This is one way to end a run, all right. This is better than using Devil's Deal, it feels like. 284 rolled. Okay, nice. Oh, more getting eaten. Let's go. Let's go. Both silver arrows point off the board. Well done, silver arrows. This is such a good way to do it. I wish we could have added like a million. We had the chance to add loads. But I wanted to get a bit more cultists and secure the win, you know, before we uh, decided to do it. I want to secure the win before we decided to uh, add Eldritch creatures to the mix. How many is left? Is that, is that all the cultists gone? Is that it? Oh, we're going to pay 1,708. That is all the cultists gone. Wow. Okay. That's going to be the end of the run pretty soon then, but still. It was good, it was good fun. Wow. I I've never been that lucky with uh, cultists before, to be honest. I'm just going to skip that rare choice. I mean, we're not really going to make it much further than this, are we? So, so what's the next one worth, actually? We could make 4,000, realistically. If we get a few good spins with the arrows and a few good placements of the wild cards, you know. Yeah, we can make 4,000. We've got eight spins. We should have... Well, we're easily making 4,000. I don't think we're making the one afterwards, though. <laughs> How fun, dudes. Um... Let's start filling up the board, I guess, with some more symbols just to help out a little bit. Let's go. Wealthy capsule. Okay, 346. Hex of tedium, why not? Give us some more cultists. I mean the run. I mean we're gonna make this payment, obviously, but the next one's gonna be funny. Hex of Midas can be eaten. Oh, let's go. I hate the tedium one as well. That's nice. That's nice. Let's go. I actually can't believe how lucky we got with all the cultist picks, to be honest. I've never I don't think I've ever been that lucky with that with picks early on. There's another cultist. We didn't even get rid of the duds and we dominated that. That's one way to do it, huh? We pay 4,800 spare. 4,500 during 10 spins. Let's add another silver arrow. Should we just add like a million silver arrows? Okay. Another cultist. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, another frozen fossil that gives us a third one. Wait, I should be rolling on the red. Yeah, okay. I need to be rolling like on the lucky ch chances if we get any now. What do I just roll anyway? Okay, cultist. I think we just roll every single chance we get until we get a... Uh... Wow, 589 rolled. Are you kidding me? I think we just roll every time until we get a cultist, a hex, or a witch, or an eldritch, or a frozen fossil. Let's do that. There's an, oh, why are we seeing so many cultists? This is insane. I've never seen this, ever. What's going on? There's a hex. All three of them ain't it. Does that mean they all... Okay, well, I mean, they all get a stack anyway, but I was just thinking that would give them, like, three stacks. We have to skip there, because the hex actually activated. Okay, we're actually rolling good still, you know. We're not going to make 4,500 though, are we? Not unless all three of these pointed off the board. Are you kidding me? I should have re-rolled. They didn't re-roll. Oh, well. The run's already over, but it was good fun. Eldritches, dude. Holy heck. Okay. We're going to use coffee to give us an extra spin. Big spin to win here. Come on, lads. You point towards pretty much nothing. You off the board. You point to a dud. Well, that'll do for today's video, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, was kind of a weird one for me. I have been 
super busy with work and obviously a yeah, personal life issue is still sort of going on in the background so i had a long day today i got back recorded this misplayed at the start by clicking start new was tilted for the start of the video instantly got like a few cultists and it turned it around and it came into a good run in the end so thank you everybody for watching uh tomorrow we're back to floor eight then i guess so it starts to get really tough tomorrow um i'll see you in tomorrow's video anyway so go follow me on twitch twitch.tv forward slash apq live i am working away this weekend but when i'm back on monday streams will continue so please go give me a follow there to be notified when i go live follow me on twitter at apq live if you guys use that i don't really use that that much but i want to use it more so it'd be easier to use it more if i had people to follow and follow me and stuff and interact with uh what else apart from that sub to the youtube join the discord link in the description um but yeah that's gonna do it for now guys carry on doing the usual youtube stuff and until next time goodbye